Hey guys, it's Jenny Eads and welcome back to my channel. I am in a different location, obviously. So I am in my kitchen because I went to um, five thrift stores, a Goodwill. Yeah, that was it. Five thrift stores and a Goodwill today. Um, I needed several, several items um, as we have we, me, and Nikki of Black Dog Vintage and Antiques have another big week of sales coming up. So we're going to be on with D with a real thrill of the thrift. Daniel, Tacky is me, and Barbie are going to be on my channel this week. So I needed to bring some items, right? So I went to, to all of these places um, today, and I got 37 items. So I had them all laid out in front of me. So what I'm going to do is I am going to show you... I'm gonna show them. So this is gonna be a long video, so be, be ready. Um, but yeah, let's just go ahead and get into it. I hope the lighting is okay in here. I'm not used to doing doing that, but I have, like I said, I just laid everything out on my bar. Um, so that way it was easy for me to to grab instead of having taking everything upstairs where I film all my videos and stuff, then bringing everything back down because there is so much stuff and it's good stuff. So I am excited to show you. So. Let me just reach over here and let's get started because I'll start with the big things. Look at this planter. Isn't that so cool? I loved all the applied little flowers on there. I love that it looks like a vintage lady's boot. It is beautiful. And I'm not sure if it's showing up, but it does have some luster on it as well. Um, I did not see anything wrong with the flowers at all. So it is amazing. So of course, I had to pick that up. I'm going to be reaching, guys. Also, I got these. Let me push you a second. Did you guys know Fiesta made glasses? Like, I know they do um, coffee mugs and saucers and plates and bowls and stuff like that, but I love the colors on these. I thought they were so cool. Um... They were just very MCM to me, right? So I ended up getting um, eight of these. So it's a full, it's a full set, eight of them. And I, I did look those up and each cup runs, I think it was replacements.com, um, runs about, you know, seven bucks, something like that, um, uh, a piece. So um, the next item I have is this a beautiful Japan peacock vase isn't that amazing the colors oh i hope the light is picking this up here is the bottom it is marked japan but i just loved all the details in there and i'm a sucker for a peacock i think they're so cool <laughs> so i picked that up we will stick with the japan theme and i got this teapot isn't that pretty? So it's brown, could not find anything wrong with it at all. It is marked um, Japan on the bottom. And these, this is kind of, you could tell this is hand done um, because it feels a little rough, you know? So you can tell that that was hand painted on there, but it is beautiful. So went ahead and got that. Um, the next Japan piece I will show you is this really pretty ginger jar. Oh, isn't that pretty? I just, I thought it was awesome. We were on a Japan kick, I guess, today. <laughs> Went ahead and picked that up. So let's move from Japan to, I think this was Poland. I'm not going to be able to see it. It's too dark. But I found this really pretty um, bell. I know it's clear glass, but it is, I believe that says made in Poland. No, wait, or does that say Germany? Okay, I'll have to figure this out. There's no need me wasting everyone's time because I can't see. <laughs> so there is that. Um, it either says Poland or Germany. That's the reason why I picked it up. Then I got this really cute swan dish. I thought it was really pretty as a trinket dish. It does have one little flea bite right here on the ceramic. Um, but I didn't notice that until after I bought it. I still think it's cool and you can easily put your rings in here, your bracelets, whatever you would like. 
Um, I got this really cute bunny for Easter. I love, I love the eyes. Look at that side eye right there. It is cute. So I went ahead and picked that up because Easter's gonna be here before you know it. I did find a Hummel figurine. It has its little tag on it and everything. It is done by Goble. But isn't she pretty with her little flowers? I rarely, rarely, rarely pick up Hummels, but I mean, she just had everything going for her, right? Love that, so got that. And then I got a, whew, a heavy B. So I think this is um, either brass or cast iron. Um, I've had a couple of, of animals before. I've had a dog before. I've had, um, oh, I can't remember what the other one was, but it was another, a monkey. It was a monkey. Um, but I went ahead and got this. It's a bee. It's super, super, super cute. Um, the next item I got was this vintage, this is for coal. You put your coal in here. And I believe this is um, um, copper. It just needs some polishing, but I love the details and stuff on there. I thought it was so neat. You put that next to your fireplace, it will be awesome. The next item I picked up, I guess I'm feeling fall today too, because I got these um, little acorns and there was three of them um, all together. They're orange and red and brown, very fall colors, but kind of cool. I figured people could do some assemblages or something with those and um, that would be really pretty. Um, I did get some brooches, so I will show you those. I got this really pretty butterfly that kind of looks like marble, right? It's really cute. Then I got this butterfly. I love the colors in that as well. I got this one just because you guys know I love a good sparkle brooch. <laughs> so I couldn't leave it. I couldn't leave it. Then I got this really cool, like the Jelly Belly um, apple. It's really neat. So got that. And then the last one is kind of my favorite one. It is really neat. It's a fish. Isn't that cool? I, lo I love the colors in it. And I love the little ruby red. But speaking of fish, <laughs> didn't mean for that. I found one, two, three, four, five, six um, pieces of art glass that are fish. So I will go ahead and show them to you now. Isn't that neat? So they have little fish swimming in there. So I got this one. I got this one that is, it's similar, but none of these have any markings on them um, at all. I'm assuming they all came from the same collection because I've never seen this many art glass pieces ever in one spot. But here is this, and I just think they're neat. I really like them. Then I got this one. This one may be my favorite. I love that. And then I found like a little orb one but it has like a whole scene of swimming fish and stuff in there. It's really pretty. Again, no markings or anything on the bottom. And then I found this kind of looks carnival glass-ish to me, but it's a dolphin. It's really pretty. I loved all the markings and stuff on it. I just thought it was really pretty. And it's in person, this just shines, shine, shine, shines. So another piece of art glass, not a fish, but another little piece of art, art glass paperweight. I really love the yellow and then the green in there. I thought that was really pretty. So went ahead and picked that up. And now we're going to this side of me. <laughs> so I found this hand trinket dish. It looks like milk glass to me, but it has a, a couple of little flowers. It has the hand. I would think this would be perfect for jewelry just on the side of your bed, on the nightstand, or on um, the sink in your bathroom. Just thought it was really pretty. Hands are popular, so got that. Then I found this really cool swan trinket dish. It is clear glass, 
And I believe this is a lipstick holder right back here. I think your lipstick is supposed to supposed to go right there, but really pretty, no chips, dings, nothing like that on it. And I found another trinket dish, and this is like a wedding couple. So there's an owl and a cat on here. Here is the back. Isn't that neat? And you guys love trinket dishes. You, you buy them every time I bring them. Um, I did pick up these little honeycomb. I think these are supposed to be package decorations. They were new in the box, or in their package, so new old stock. Went ahead and got these, and these were $1.17 at Kmart. You know how long it's been since I've seen a Kmart? And what's a forget-me-not American Greetings? So obviously the little tulip opens up and that could be your little package, um, little package topper decoration type thing. Um, whew, we're still going. <laughs> we're still going. Are y'all with me? I hope so. I found this really pretty marigold basket. I think this is flashed. I'm not sure. I do not see a maker or anything, but it, it looks flashed to me, but it's very pretty. Very pretty. Um, and then I found, and I never pick up silver really, um, but I found this really cool sugar and creamer. And I really, they match and they go together. I really loved the detail around here. I thought that was so cool. This is what the bottom looks like. Here is the sugar. Perfect, perfect, perfect condition. So I will be selling these together in a lot. Um, well, speaking of cream and sugar, if you drink tea, I found a really cool tea holder. This probably was supposed to have a lid to it. I didn't find a lid. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. I just have to do some more research on them. There's no markings on the bottom, but how cute would this be? Because this is cold paint right here. So how cute would that be with just your little tea bags in there uh, next to, to your coffee bar or what have you? I just thought that was really neat. So did go ahead and pick them up. Okay, look what else I found. <laughs> look what else I found. So this is the flower. Um, this is beauty wear. It is nice and clean on the inside. No dents, no nothing. I haven't wiped it down yet, but I am working on that. So I have the flower. And then I also found the sugar. I wish I would have found the whole complete set, but you know. Beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> you get what you get when you go out thrifting. But, um, so I'm not sure if I should offer these together um, or if I should separate them in case there may be somebody out there that only needs the flour. There may be somebody out there that only needs the sugar or they're just starting to their collection and wanna get two for one monies. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Y'all let me know in the comments. Um, my husband actually found these. And they are decanters, right? So they're carnival glass. And they were done by Webs, Wester, Wessler, I believe is what he said. So this one is Robert Francis Kennedy, um, 1929 to 1968. And then it has a little saying, I dream things that never were and say what not, and say why not. So this is kind of cool. He, he looked them up and they're very collectible. And then we have this one. And this one is John F. Kennedy on here. And on the back, it says, ask not what you can do for your country or ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country on the back. But you can really see that carnival glass going in that. Um, the last, oh, I gotta, I gotta move over a little bit. The last item that I am going to show, because that is it, finally. Hey, that's not that bad, is this glass skull. I think this is this was maybe a planter. Now you hear my dog playing with her toy. So it's, it is what it is whenever I'm not in my YouTube room. But how cool is this? How cool? I mean, I know it's not Halloween, but I still think somebody would, would want this. I really do. Alrighty. So that is all that I am going to show today for this haul. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. I hope you would enjoy it. This is one of my biggest hauls yet. 
I told you guys, I am up in my game bringing stuff to these YouTube sales. So um, hopefully you see something you like. Let me know in the comments. Um, I hope you're having a great day. I hope you like this video. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.